god, this is so cute. Look what it does to the booty. <laughs> Terrified to go in. Thank you for getting me up. <laughs> morning welcome back to my youtube guys we have got a weekly vlog which is something that has been quite requested but i really struggle to do them because i always forget like what i've filmed because usually when i do my youtubes it'll be like a day in the life and it's showing you like a full day or like a full day of eating and i know and remember what i've spoken about when it's a week i'm like oh i'll take you to this appointment and that appointment and then when i go to like film again i'm like hang on have i already told them like giving them an update on this. So yes, they are harder to do, but it was fun. It's a midweek, week to week instead. I know like a lot of people do it. I'm just getting myself, I look so disheveled. I know a lot of people do them and it's like every Monday they release them, but I don't play by the rules, do I? I just kind of do whatever. So anyway, this is gonna be interesting. You'll see some appointments, some try-ons, some delivery which is like the same thing as the try on because i get something delivered that i try on <laughs> some work some training stuff and some food so mostly like i always say when i do full days of day in the life <laughs> good so i'm mostly working the whole time i've had some really exciting this exciting meetings oh my god i can't even talk i've had some really exciting meetings this week already i'm a mess there's something, there's something really exciting that I'm working on that you'll find out about in like, like next year. I just, I can't even with me. All right. Anyway, let's get to the video. One thing I actually wanted to say when I was doing my makeup, I don't know what is going on if this is like an Accutane, Roaccutane side effect or what, but my face is so much darker than my body and like I'm fake tanning my body and obviously it's getting warmer here so my face is more exposed to the sun but I don't usually get so much tan on my face actually my face doesn't typically get really dark my body might get darker because my face is used to being out and exposed to the sun and just before I was putting on my makeup I put on like my sunscreen and my face just like went really red and I've been using this sunscreen the whole time and I don't usually have that effect. So I'm like, that like side effect. So I'm like, what the hell? Is this a Roaccutane thing where like your face just goes darker, but it's not dry. It's really odd. Anyway, every time I've got, I don't think you can see it really well now, but every time I have makeup on, like, it, I don't know if I'm just, I've tried different makeup too, but my face looks a bit muddy. It's not cute. Anyway, I'd rather that than dryness. Okay, let's get into the weekly vlogs. Morning, I am just about to meet my friend to go for a walk and a swim down to the beach. So it's early, it's seven o'clock. Um, well, early, depending on who you're talking to. We're just gonna meet, go for a little walkies and get a dip. I'm so excited. This is my morning face. This is my update, skin update, I suppose. Ugh, it's looking, I don't know why it looks like kind of red. I don't know if it's this light but it's a lot flatter. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. I also get really bad pigmentation. So it's like misleading-ish, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I've got a super, super busy day. So I don't know about anyone else that YouTubes, the busiest days are the hardest to document because you're obviously busy being busy. <laughs> but I was like, oh, well, I'll take you guys along because at least it's kind of interesting. So let's vlog today. All right, here we are at the Mexican <laughs> game. He's like, are you just filming me getting changed? <laughs> so beautiful. And it's getting warm as well. Are you scared to go in? Terrified to go in. Thank you for getting me up. <laughs> All right, let's go in. So I'm just in the car on the way to my meeting with Julius. I am, I hope I'm not late. I thought like I'm on time, I left on time, but there's traffic such traffic what is this i'm so spoiled i'm not used to having traffic so i'm just like what's going on i hope i get there in time anyway we're meeting to chat about a campaign a video campaign he's a videographer so that'll be fun <laughs> and then i've got the physio appointment so i'll take you to all of those yay yay <laughs> i was gonna like time lapse it but we just like we got into it didn't we Juju. 
Oh my god. Okay, it's always like the people that are behind the camera get really awkward. I need to know everything. Who in the what in the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn around. So that meeting went really well. I just want to show you guys this couch because I'm obsessed. What is it like? Booch? I don't know how to say it properly. Boochily? I don't know what it's called. Is that like fluffy material? Oh, love it. Anyway, that was a really good meeting. I'm very excited for this campaign, and I'm excited that I was able to show you guys like a little bit of BTS that goes on behind these campaigns. Like we are a month and a half out from Black Friday but this is the point at which I need to be planning these things and getting it done. Gotta get onto these things early which is something that I never used to do from a like business perspective. Actually Gabby was asking me this morning she's like oh so before you had like a team working for you how did you get all this stuff done and it's like I didn't I didn't used to think about Black Friday or dates that were coming up that I needed to consider creating content for ahead of time and briefing people and getting it done so this is just like a evolution of business the first year is really just like winging it and now i'm at the point where i plan things and it'll just get better and better every single year but this campaign is going to be sick i will show you guys bts we're going to have like drone footage yeah it's going to be cool 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 all right now i've got to get to the physio i've got presents for him too because he said he wanted greens so i've got two different greens for him to try <laughs> Um, and he can fix my body. Okay, busy day. Appointment or meeting three of four for the day. Let's go. So for once in my life, I'm early, 20 minutes early. And I always, whenever I come to the physio, walk past this place, um, Paddington Reservoir. And I never go in. Usually I'd be like, yeah, cool. I'm going to sit down and do some work. But I actually might explore and go down here and have a look around. I actually feel like this would be a sick place to do a photo shoot. I'm constantly thinking about content, but wow. Let me show you. Like this is just in the center of like a busy street, Oxford Street, which is like a, I wouldn't say famous, but well-known street. Look how pretty. Wow. Oh my God, this would be so cool for a photo shoot. It's so peaceful. This is kind of creepy. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I love it. I feel like a really cool photo shoot area and like against these poles and in these arches, you could get some like really cool shots. Sorry guys, I'm just having a moment. I'm really glad we're here together because I love stumbling across places like this. Like when you know when you think you know somewhere and then you find cool new places, it's like really cool. Did I mention it was cool? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Maybe you can enter that from the other side. So every time I come here to see Zab, I'm always wearing active wear. And today is the one day that I'm not wearing active wear. I'm literally wearing freaking platform <laughs> and not a crop top. And of course, he's got me doing exercises. So if my boob pops out, I'm just gonna censor that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we make us new rebels. <laughs> Makes everything better. All right, so pull the arms down, feel in the armpits, and hold that position. All right, so we've noticed that when Sophie picks up a barbell, she always reverts to her default which is good posture retract her shoulder blades so what we've got her doing is rolling her shoulders as far forward as she can sliding her hands down her thighs so that she feels her lats on tension in the armpit then she hip hinges back she keeps sliding her hands down her thighs so she retains the tension in her armpits bends her knees till she meets the bar now she keeps that tension in her armpits as soon as she takes the slack out of the bar and then she pushes with her legs so at the top she checks to make sure, so just relax the shoulders again and then back to your start position. Shoulders straight down only, push the ground. 
So you can see now she's in a very much forward shoulder position. Her shoulder blades are not retracted. They're just depressed. She's in a protracted position. All right, he's showing, giving me skipping tips. Pressure's on. Oh my god, skills. <laughs> Did you just do a double cross? Oh my god, that's so cool. I am back from my physio appointment. I'm really freaking hungry. I'm just gonna make a quick smoothie, like protein smoothie. This one I've been loving lately is so simple, so delicious, very yum. Let us make. Okay, so I'm trying a new protein powder, the mango cheese from Naked Harvest. So all we need is frozen banana. Important, make sure it's frozen. This is such a like summer vibe because it's basically summer here. But we want a hundred of banana and we want, let me see how much water. Depends how thick you like it. If you like that really thick vibe. So I've put in 200 of water, icy chilled water. I'm gonna put in icebox. How cute, they're little stars. Cause of my star, cause I'm a star. And then a scoop, so 30 grams. And it, this only works because this flavor is mango cheese. So if you did like vanilla or anything, it wouldn't be this good, not gonna lie. Get in there, girl. Cool. And then you blend it. Where is she? Where is my little, my blender hat? Here she is. Get in there. Okay. I think I put too much in there. <laughs> it started to like spill out a bit. Oh, that is full. So it's a lot runnier. Like if you put in that much water, it's going to be like pretty runny. Just like a normal kind of consistency. Let's see. Let me show you. Oh, it's still pretty thick. Oh my God, it's actually so good. It's like summer in a cup. Mm. Oh my God, it's so tasty. It's like sweet and fruity, if that makes sense. Really good. Really creamy, really smooth, really loving this snack. Okay, now I've got to get into some work. Bye. All right, we're off to get acupuncture. Yay! It's actually cooler in Sydney today. I'm not mad about it because I feel like I'm not ready for sweat season to be done. Anyway, I'm rocking my grey on greys. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's go and relax. It's a great way to finish a Friday. All right, about to go, but this arrived in my mail, and I hope it's what I think it is. I can open it. Tell him fuck that, fuck that. Cause strong, get your contact. Okay. Oh. All right, it's a book. I thought it was gonna be Ryan Holiday's book, but it is Cara Oliva. Girl on Fire. I need to stop buying books. Like, I don't need to stop. I need to actually read the books that I buy. I do this thing where I, I've always got multiple books on the go because I read a different book depending on what my mood is. So like business books and stuff and self-development. I don't love reading at night when I'm trying to sleep because I'm trying to wind down. But then I don't read as much during the day. I mostly read during the night or if I'm at the beach. And it's usually when I'm trying to relax. Anyway, let's go get pricked. <laughs> morning all right acupuncture i didn't chat to you like how it went afterwards so let's just give a bit of a recap so as you guys saw i had acupuncture it was like a really interesting experience because i'd never done it before i didn't really know what to expect for anyone that doesn't know she'll like or the reader will hold your pulse on like both sides of like your wrist and 
from that they can tell like what's going on internally like with your organs and she just like asked me some questions about i can't even remember it was literally last night she just asked a few questions like how's your sleep how's your stress and she did like a full like before we started to ask what was going on with my life i had like a lot to tell her because of like all my skin and like when i was in hospital 10 years ago with that surgery complication that happened so explaining all that asked about like gut health stuff and then from that she kind of came up with a plan of like where she'd put the little needles i don't know if that's the right word for them i don't know any of the terminology just roll with it and so she did she like she mentioned a few things like my liver wasn't great my spleen and my heart she's like it feels like you're like protecting your heart or something i'm like oh am i i don't know if i am but and it wouldn't necessarily it'd be any relationship like friendships r romantic whatever so i thought that was kind of interesting um she said my diet was really good one thing she suggested was to stop drinking icy cold water i always refrigerate my water just because i prefer it cold and she's like, you know, in traditional Chinese medicine, they say that the cold is for the corpse, so like for the dead. So your body wants warmth and stuff like inside. So she's like, try, try not doing that. I'm like, no. So anyway, apparently my water is damp. And I don't actually know what that means. Anyway, I'm going back in two weeks to see whether you're a believer or not. I'm just kind of curious to see if there's any changes. My real reason for going was to help with stress and my skin so i've heard a lot of people say that acupuncture really helped with their skin so she put a few around like where my acne is the worst around the hormonal areas some in my head i've got this little um seed in both that's like a pressure point um she said that would help with my sleep and she put some in my feet in my stomach which felt really weird just because i've got my scar on my stomach so i'm always like it's a sensitive area and I just like laid there when she came back in. She's like, did you fall asleep? I was like, no. She's like, were you thinking too much? I was like, not overly like, cause I meditate. I'm used to like the stillness and quietness, but I was just kind of like nervous to move with the needles in me, even though, I don't know, it was just a weird thing to adjust to. So anyway, she said afterwards I could feel there could be like some kind of release, like crying or like emotional or anything like that. Oh, and she also did some cupping. I wonder if there's bruises on the back of my neck. I can't see, but I'll look back and see. Um, she, yeah, she did some cupping because I'm super tight around my traps and she said I need to be doing more diaphragmatic breathing. Yeah, but today I don't feel like emotional or anything. I feel a little bit flat would be the word, which is weird because I've been feeling really good lately, which I think is actually the progesterone because that's like mood, good for mood because mine was so low. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's early days. I'll go back again in two weeks and see if it's helped with any like skin stuff, stress stuff. But I like trying these new things, so we'll see. Anyway, it looks cold in Sydney today. It's like overcast and a bit windy. It had We had like really nice summer weather. Just drinking my supplements with, okay, I'm not gonna lie, it is icy cold water. <laughs> I'm doing really well at my homework so far. I'm going to go to the gym and train. I have to get my nails done because they're like, Anyway, they've grown out heaps and they're super long and I hate long nails. Like I can't type or do necklaces up or like literally anything. I just, I can't, I can't adult with them. So I'm going to get my nails done. Don't know what color. I'm trying not to work, but I keep thinking about things. But I heard this really good thing on a podcast actually. And it was um, rest is a part of productivity. And whilst I know this, sometimes things are just put in a different way that really resonate with you. And I feel like that really resonated with me because I always feel guilty if I'm resting and not working. I mean, this is work, like essentially filming is work. It's something that's on your mind, but it doesn't feel like work because I'm not sitting down on a laptop. Anyway, okay, I'm rambling. I'm going to go for a walk and then I'm going to train and then I'm going to get my nails done and do a food shop and try and chill the F out. And then I think I'm going to chat with some friends tomorrow. What's up? I've got a exciting delivery that I wanted to unbox with y'all. It is a Stax delivery and it is the new M Davies by Stax collection. It is really cool. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have got, oh my God, I'm literally obsessed. It's ribbed. How cool. So we've got ribbed tights that have this, um, what do you call that? Like the waistband? <laughs> oh my God. 
God, my brain. Sorry, guys. It's like almost five o'clock on a Monday and I just got off a long hour and a half meeting about something really exciting. Okay, the color is called Sage. This is the crop. It's like a little zip. Um, so that's the sage color. And then I've also got rose shorts and crop tank. Oh my God, this is so cute. <gasps> I love this. And it's all ribbed. And then the shorts. Oh my God. Look at the color. So cute. And there's also a chocolate color. And I can't remember what else. Oh, this is the one piece. These are like all the rage guys. Oh, I just put it on my table. My table's got dust on it. Um, this is like a one piece suit, which are like going to be a huge thing coming in. I can tell you that now and I have pockets. Oh my God. I'm so excited to try these on. Um, these will be on sale by the time this YouTube is live, actually Friday, the 23rd. How cool. My code is SOF10. If you want to buy them, get a discount. I think these will sell out because I actually haven't seen anything like this on the market. And the colors are really cute. And, uh, you know, maybe I should try them on and show you. Let's do that. All right, this is the first set that I'm going to show you in the Sage. So we've got the full length. It has pockets and is ribbed, as you saw. Really cute. And if you didn't want this tie, it's got little loops where you can take it off. The crop has like a crop in a crop. So it's got the crop top in there for extra support and you can zip her up. So the material is actually really stretchy. Like it, it feels like normal active wear kind of stretch material. This is a size small, which is my normal size for stacks, both small. So it's very much like a lounge kind of everyday wear. I would be interested to take it to the gym and try it as active wear though. All right, let's try the shorts. All right, this is freaking adorable. If you guys worry about the bottom of shorts this length digging into your legs, then these are perfect because they're a lot stretchier than the usual active wear. Like there's just more give because they're ribbed. It's a really cute set. Um, this hasn't got any padding or anything in it. I don't want to get too close because it's very nippy situation here. But this is like the perfect summer like, can't you just imagine this with like oversized tee and you can wear it to the gym and then out. Like it's very versatile in that regard. And again, you can take this off if you don't want to use that. Um, I'm not going to lie. The waist is tighter than a usual small and like the usual active wear just because the elastic is thicker. So if you're concerned about tightness around here, potentially size up. It's snug on me and I have a quite a small waist, so potentially size up, but not for the, the top. Seems fine for me, like I wouldn't size up in that. Um, this doesn't have pockets, so just the pants. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this because it gave me like flashback memories from when I was in school and we had to wear zoot suits, which is basically what this is when we did rowing and they were seriously unflattering. But this is actually really cute and flattering. I know that this kind of one piece suit is going to be a really big trend. So, oh my God, look what it does to the booty. <laughs> so nice. And it has pockets and the zip if you want to get a bit of cleavage happening. <laughs> Really cute and stretchy. I'm wearing a size small. I'm like, yeah, cleavage, nothing happened. But yeah, it's, it's ribbed as well. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. They've done so well. So this launches Friday, the 23rd of October. My code is SOF10. It will save you 10% off if you buy anything. Go and support M and Stax. You guys will love this collection. Like, love, love. <laughs> Um, oh, also the other colors. So there's the black, the rose, and the sage, which I've showed you. And then there's a gray and a brown. Probably not the right names. I just haven't seen what they are, which are amazing. Like, really cute. I'm going to have to try and buy some because I'm guessing this collection will sell out. But yeah, how cute. All right, guys, that is it for this week's YouTube. My weekly, my, well, it's not weekly. I don't know if I'll do this weekly, but a week. They're called weekly vlogs, right? I don't know. It's a week in my life, basically. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe. It really supports my channel. Turn post notifications on. Like, give us a thumbs up and comment if you want to see more of these. So then I know if I should do this or not.
Bye. Mwah.